different uh, devotionals I read. But yeah, I mean, throughout all that, you know, the one specific the one specific time you're talking about is when Marcus Johnson, for a game, got baptized in a pool. And that's something that's so special. That's something that you just really, you see that and you see how, you know, his heart was changed as he entered the NFL and it was by different guys in the locker room that, that showed him and shared with him. And then his heart changed on from the good Lord. So it's been a special year. Thank you. Uh, I, w I would say to all the fans in Argentina that you know it's the, there's going to be a lot, a lot of. Uh, you're gonna have to learn the game first. I know there's a lot of different facets of the game, and soccer and football are probably big. Um, but just they're gonna love the game of football, and uh, you know going into this game, you, you really just want to get in the zone. Um, it's, it's obviously the biggest game, biggest possibility, but once we get on the gridiron and we're out there, it's the game of football. Um, no, I feel good. I feel good. I mean, you know, there's more things going around. Um, you know, this isn't a typical week where you're uh, in an arena with thousands of media, but at the same time, um, you know, we'll have a preparation this week. We were fortunate to have a bye week last week to prepare for this game. And then just going to this game, we're, you know, we're going to study our game plan and go at it. And we, the key is execution. And these big games is just execution. Um, the atmosphere will be wild, but I can't wait for the atmosphere. I'm excited to play in it. I've actually been, you know, I think earlier in the week someone mentioned that, and I think I was just so in tune on the sideline and just seeing the joy in everyone's face and celebrating with one another. Um, I didn't realize that it was Foles, um, but, you know, that just shows you that I was so in tune to the sideline just celebrating with my teammates and all my coaches and everyone. No, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to just sit up here and answer questions. But hey. Honestly, like I probably haven't seen, I probably haven't seen the incidences you're looking for. Uh, for me, I just always see the loudness because I mean we're the Eagles, so I, I mean they're cheering us on. But I really don't have anything for you. I know it's a boring answer. I'm sorry. That's a good question. I, I, I couldn't tell you. I, I haven't been to a Wawa in a, a while, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> hey, here, next question. I'm not familiar at all with the TV 12. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, it's not what I'm doing right now. Obviously, you know, I think when it comes to nutrition, that's something that I'm very interested in. Uh, my wife is as well. So we, you know, we're very, everyone has a different palate. Everyone has different nutrition. Everyone has a different makeup. Uh, that's something that works for him. Um, it doesn't work for me. Um, you know, I love, you know, eating good meats. And, you know, obviously I like vegetables. I have to put a lot of butter on them because it's hard to eat them, just vegetables. But, uh, you know, I'm from Texas. We love barbecue, so I couldn't give that up. You know, Coach Nagy, um, Matt, Matt was there also in my rookie year. And so I, I've got to see his journey. And just for him to, you know, last year be my coach, uh, be the OC. Um, coach Reed called all the plays when I was there. But um, Coach Nagy did a great job this year for him. Uh, he's a guy with great knowledge of the game of football. Most importantly, he's a, an amazing person, amazing leader. And, uh, you know, I'm excited for his future with the Bears. Nick, are you a We actually have three. Yeah, Marquise Flowers. So I, I can't can't sell Arizona short. And no, I don't. <laughs>